Joseph can't keep his mind on work these days, worrying about his 80-year-old father who is sick in bed. A few days ago, all of a sudden, his condition got serious and he had to be in the ICU for a while. Fortunately, he got better enough to come home, but no one knows when this would happen again. One day, Andrew, parish cell leader, told Joseph about the sacrament of the anointing of the sick for his father. Joseph thought the sacrament of the anointing of the sick is for those only who are at the point of death, so he said he didn't want. However, Andrew explained that the sacrament of the anointing of the sick is also for the comfort and healing of all patients, and it can be repeated whenever the condition gets worse. He recommended Joseph to ask the priest to give the sacrament for his father. So Joseph went to the parish to arrange for the celebration of the sacrament. The sacrament of the anointing of the sick is just like God's strong hand that holds us tight in sickness. It is like God's outstretched arms that comfort us when the illness leads us to despair and loneliness. Jesus opened the ears of the deaf and restored the sight of the blind. He cleansed the leper and made the crippled man rise and walk. The sacrament of the anointing of the sick is Jesus' love for us and compassion toward us. It is also His teaching. Jesus identified Himself with the sick in their sufferings. When I was ill, you cared for me. He healed them. He not only healed their physical illness, but also forgave their sins because He is the physician of our souls and bodies. Jesus' healings are not just for our health on earth. They are also signs of the coming of the kingdom of God. They are a foretaste that Jesus would rise from the dead, conquering sin and death. Jesus took upon Himself the whole weight of evil on the cross and took away the sin of the world. Through Jesus, the meaning of sickness and suffering has a new meaning. The suffering can configure us to Christ and unite us with His salvific suffering. Jesus called His disciples to be with Him in His life to service, and He commanded them when sending them out to the world. Cure the sick Also, the reason Jesus told his disciples that if they lay their hands on the sick in his name, they shall recover. The grace of the sacrament of the anointing of the sick is comfort, peace, and courage to overcome the pain of serious illness or the frailty of old age. This grace helps the sick overcome the temptation to easily fall into despair and frustration because of pain and fear with renewed faith in God. The sacrament of the anointing of the sick is meant to heal the soul of the sick with the help of the Holy Spirit, but also the body if God wills. And sins committed by the sick can be forgiven. This is why the sacrament of penance comes first, and then the anointing follows before the reception of Holy Communion at the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. Especially the Eucharist is offered to those who are about to leave this life. This is called viaticum. The sacrament of the anointing of the sick can be given whenever a Christian falls seriously ill. One can receive this anointing when the condition becomes more serious during the same disease, before a critical operation, and when one's frailty becomes more pronounced. When the body is in pain, and when the soul suffers of that pain, nothing can be comfort nor strength but the word of Jesus can. I, the Lord, am your healer. Through the sacrament of the anointing of the sick, we can squarely face our pain, and we can look up at Jesus in pain. We can gain the strength to win the fight for our life and the love against death. By receiving the sacrament of the anointing of the sick, we can gain the courage to face the last day of our life in joy, not in sorrow. And we have true hope for the kingdom of God.